Al Telecom, ALB Telecom SHA, a shortening of Albanian Telecom Telecomi SHIPTER, was established as Albania's state company that provided telecommunications services through a fixed network. On 5 December 1912, the provisional government led by Ismail Kemali established the Ministry of Post Telegraph Telephones, where ALB Telecom existed only as a government office. It is the largest fixed-line telephone company in the country, currently covering with optical fiber backbone network. The entire territory of Albanian cities Albania's population is 3. 2 million. It was privatized on 1 October 2007 following a privatization process which started in 2000 with 76% of its shares sold by the Albanian government to a consortium of two Turkish companies, Kalik Holding and Turk Telecom, with Kalik taking 80% of the consortium's stake. In May 1996, ALB Telecom created Albanian Mobile Communications, now Telecom Albania, and in March 2008 created another mobile telephony company called Eagle Mobile, which gained a 13% market share within a year. History ALB Telecom was created in 1912, right after the independence of Albania, and was licensed to provide fixed and mobile telephony and Internet in 1992 by the entity of telecommunication regulation ERT. ALB Telecom is owned by Settle AS in Ankara 76% of the shares and by the Albanian government and other shareholders 24%. Settle AS itself is owned by one of the biggest companies in Turkey, Kalik Group, with 80% of the shares and by Turk Telecom with 20%. By the end of 2012, the company has invested on the replacement and expansion of the network from TDM to NGN technology to increase the capacities across the country on the preparation of infrastructure, on the latest technology services, as well as to improve the service infrastructure, etc. The fiber optic network has already reached 3000 km across the country with 600 km of international network that enables connection with the neighboring countries. In 2007, when the company was privatized, there were only 500 km of optical fiber. On June 2020, it was reported that Al Telecom had 133. Zero broadband subscribers being the market leader in broadband services. Before the privatization, Today's ALB Telecom was founded just after the creation of independent Albania in 1912, after the declaration of independence of the Albanian state. This government, having acknowledged the importance of interconnection for the essential needs of the new state, population, economy, and external communication, took steps to organize the post-telegraphic service. For this reason, the Albanian Ministry of Post Telegraph was founded, and Mr. Lefnosi was appointed as the first minister of this ministry. This ministry would later be called the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications. Despite all the efforts to create a structure that would facilitate the communications within and outside the country, its transformations resumed immediately after the creation of the new Albanian state in 1920. The government invested in the construction of the first plant with a capacity of 200 numbers. The interconnection administration of the Albanian state was created in year 1922 as a part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and it adhered as a member of the International Postal Union and became a member of the International Telecommunication Union as well. During the rule of Ahmet Zog, interconnection was technically backward and nothing but a limited network, which served mainly to the state administration. In 1930, another plant, with a capacity of 150 numbers, which aided the state institutions, was installed. At this time, 94% of the interconnection was covered by the postal service, 4% was covered by the telegraphic services, and 1% by the telephony service. 
The aftermath of World War Roman II was still present in the telecommunications sector, where many of the lines were damaged. During 1945, many of those were rebuilt, and in the meantime the post-telegraphic offices reopened, standing on similar levels to those of pre-war. The telephonic interconnection with the world was established in 1946 through the toronto Peshkopia line. In this same period, the interurban telephone service by means of booths is introduced for the first time. In August 1947, the General Directorate of Post Telecommunication was created under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Also in this same year, it was installed the first automatic plant in Tirana, with a capacity of 800 numbers. In 1960, the fixed telephony capacity quadrupled. Meanwhile, given the ever-increasing need for communication in 1965, post-telecommunication offices were established in all the localities of the country. This was accomplished through direct telephone interconnection of all offices with Tirana. In the early 1970s, the post-telecommunication sector took another important step, enabling of the connections with the villages. It was in this year that Tirana acquired direct connection with all other cities slash towns. The 1980s and onwards marked the increase in investment flows in the context of plant capacity expansion in the cities to strengthen and develop the technical base as well as to mount the numbering system devices, highly facilitating the telephone communication path. Furthermore, the 1990s brought a new wind of positive changes in the country, which coincided with the installation of a new system and which was accompanied by gigantic changes in the field of telecommunications. On February 5, 1992, the Albanian Telecom was established as a separate enterprise. During the 15-year period, the fixed telephony company marked many investments in network improvement and in the offering of new services. The public telephone service of prepaid cards was established during the first part of 1996, whereas in 1997, a more qualitative line of optical fiber cable was applied in the transmission of international traffic. Privatization The 2000s belonged to a new phase of privatization, preparations for ALB Telecom. Settled Telecom, consisting of one of the largest companies in Turkey, Kalik Group 80% of the shares, and Turk Telecom 20% of the shares, bought 76% of the ALB Telecom shares, while the rest of the shares 24% is owned by the Albanian government and other shareholders. After a long negotiation procedure, on October 1, 2007, the Settle Company, member of Kalik Holding, headquartered in Istanbul, and in consortium with Turk Telecom, officially became the owner of the fixed telephony giant ALB Telecom and of the third mobile operator in Albania, Eagle Mobile. One hundred percent of the shares of Eagle Mobile were owned by ALB Telecom. Based on the contract ratified by the Albanian parliament, Kalik Holding and Turk Telecom became owners of 76 percent of the shares of ALB Telecom. During these years, the company has worked to create a network maintenance center. Thus, in 2001, the Network Supervising and Maintenance Center was founded, together with the expansion of existing capacities by means of two technologies, the Alcatel S12 and Siemens used. 2004 was an important year in the development and improvement of the company. The first phase of invoicing and customer care systems, as well as the central internet network expansion, and the ADSL technology were implemented. Since the privatization of the company, in September 2007, in addition to providing services in the fixed telephony and in the broadband internet service, ALB Telecom has carried out a large volume of investments for setting up a modern network of shops, as well as for the total replacement of infrastructure and network around the country. Eagle Mobile the merging process of ALB Telecom 
and Eagle Mobile began in March 2011. Although being part of the same package, the companies functioned as two different entities. In February 2013, the company ALB Telecom took possession of the mobile company Eagle Mobile, which turned into a brand within ALB Telecom. The Electronic and Postal Communications Authority ACAP has given ALB Telecom the license of transfer that allows the company to offer products and services of fixed telephony and broadband internet, as well as mobile telephony and mobile broadband internet under the Eagle Mobile trademark. Eagle Mobile entered the Albanian telecommunication market on 12 March 2008. Now the company covers 98.5% of the country's population and 92.5% of the national territory. The third operator helped in the market liberalization. Prices underwent a sharp decline of over 40% with its arrival. In February 2013, ALB Telecom and Eagle Mobile were finally merged in one single company, and on 3 April were officially presented under the brand of ALB Telecom. During 2017, Eagle Mobile was replaced with ALB Telecom Mobile brand name. Controversy. In 2017, operators changed the duration of their monthly packages to 28 days instead of 30. The matter was investigated by the authority and the operators were ordered to resume the 30-day duration once again. In 2019, the Albanian Competition Authority intervened after Vodafone Albania, Telecom Albania, and Altelecom increased their tariffs by all 200 and doubled the minimum recharge value from all 100 to all 200. The move sparked strong reactions from consumers who felt that the high price increase across three of the main providers was unfair and it was reported to the competition authority. The three companies took immediate action to lower the prices in accordance with the instructions of the Albanian competition authority. Equals equals references equals equals.